Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Matt, as you probably know and are very bored of by now. Um, I wanted to address some stuff that's popped up in the Facebook group. I've noticed some of you have managed to get hold of advanced reading copies for the Foul Twins, and I am one of them. It's so good! So I read it a few weeks ago. I've seen discussions popping up where I think a couple of people have got hold of them. Um, I'm not going to talk about the plot today, so don't you worry. What do you think, Mira? Apparently she's enjoying it. She's here. <laughs> Mira's in my office. Yeah. And sitting in a real chair. I know. So she can't take this one back with her. We can't oh, we can't get it on the plane. But Mira is here. I am. Welcome to the United Kingdom, even though you've been here for a week. But Thanks. A few days. A few a days. When did you fly over? Um. Oh, so yeah, a week actually. A no, week. He's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. See, I know your itinerary better than you do. I don't even know where you were for like the last few days. <laughs> I know you've been here since yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So long story short, Mira's been visiting the UK for I believe it was a wedding. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and we thought, yeah, perfect. Mira can come up to where I live in Milton Keynes, um, and we'll spend a few days hanging out, seeing the the wonderful sights of Milton Keynes, mm -hmm. and film something together. Yeah. It's been really weird. It's still weird not. Being on opposite sides of a giant ocean. Yeah, it's it's a little bit weird. Um, yeah. And we're going to have to get used to it, because we have to do this. Yes, we do. So, um, as you saw... Get your copy, Mira. Oh. We have copies. Advanced reading copies of the Foul Twins. Um, I've managed to read it. Um, obviously, it's a funny story. I knew Mira was arriving in the UK middle of last week. And um, we, we decided that I would ship this down to you mm -hmm. so that you would receive it like on the Wednesday or the Thursday. Yeah. So then Mira would have time to read it so we could then d like film a discussion about it. Obviously right. not release it until after the book came out. The plan um, was so that I would have time to read it before I came to Matt. And I shipped it down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> send by a special delivery, which means that the recipient has to sign for it. And unfortunately no one was there to sign for it when it arrived. Yeah. So when I went down to London to pick up Mira um, yesterday morning... We had to then go pick the book up from the post office. <laughs> so yeah, that was. A it was bit of a... great. We got to the post office and uh, and I give them my ID so that I can get, collect the package. And Matt goes, "Oh yeah, that I just sent that a few days ago." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but you've got it now. Um, yeah. You can it's read exciting. it. It's exciting. It's least beautiful. You've, you've got reading for the flight home. Yeah, I and do. We can certainly film um, something a bit later on down the line. I mean, yeah. as I said, mm -hmm. I have read it, and it is awesome. It does a great job of kind of continuing the magic for existing readers mm -hmm. whilst, and, and, and in my mind, it's very much the kind of style and tone as the first sort of three or four books, um, but it, it does a very good job of introducing new readers and a new generation to the series. Mm -hmm. So I think when this comes out, you guys are going to absolutely love it. There's a lot of nostalgia. Um, it, it just, it feels right. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to read it. I know you're going to love it. So, Yeah. yeah. From what I've read, it's very classic Colfer. So yeah. How I'm far in are you? Very much enjoying it. I'm really only at like chapter two since we got so here. You read the first chapter. Yeah. Uh, oh well, I mean the first chapter. chapter, first chapter in, is the one that we, is yeah. the one that's. Uh, um, is we we it's we, like we, public. We, we released it. Have it right. We released it, and you know, so that one I read, and uh, and I'm getting into it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very good book. I'm, I know. It's, a very good it's book. already so good. Like I really can't. Yeah. But either way, there will, we will be doing a lot more about this. Obviously, this is a big kind of thing of the year now, um, with the movie having been delayed. So, expect more on this. We want to talk about now is the movie delay. Um, so, there's been a bit of disinformation. A lot of people thought it was potentially because Disney thought the movie wasn't good enough, so it pushed mm -hmm. it back a long time. And that's definitely not the case. Nope. We know that they did some reshoots, which is common um, for mm -hmm. movie productions. That, you know, they'll, and they'll... seems to be really good. Yes. Like, we think that happens to be a really good sign. Yeah. Um, especially because a lot of the core actors were brought back in. I think it's a really good sign, at least, because it yeah. shows that they really want to put in the time and the care. And yeah. I think they also were going to be spending more time on CGI also. So we can have something that just looks spectacular. Which is what we want. Um, yeah. So, so as you know, we think, well, we're pretty sure, if not 100% sure now, that mm -hmm. the, the pushback is because of the Disney-Fox merger. Yeah. Um, so for whatever reason, Fox had a movie releasing on the same day that Artemis Fowl was due to release. Um, so due to that conflict, Disney pushed it back to May. Mm -hmm. Now you think, why are they pushing it back a year? 
Well, we started looking into dump months. Yeah, dump months are actually um, this phenomenon where movies that are released in certain months um, tend to do worse than yeah. movies released during other months. And it's and it's almost that when a studio moves a date and releases a movie within one of these months is because they kind of expect it to fail. Mm -hmm. um, so they're kind of just dumping it. So yeah. I think those months were, they were January, February. Yeah, those are the bad months. Yep, and um, August, September. Right. Apparently, according to the Wikipedia article, which I'll link in the description, but what that kind of... It's interesting because... Um, I think uh, Disney saw an opportunity and really took it. Yeah. Because um, it seems to be... At least this is the way I see it, where they had a movie coming out, what, it was August 9th, yeah. if I remember correctly. And... Oh. August 9th? August 9th. <laughs> Um, so they had the movie coming out then, and when they had the conflict with Fox, um, realized probably that Artemis Fowl could be doing a lot better. Um, especially because it didn't make sense. I looked up the movie that they supposedly had a conflict with, yeah. and... Uh, it was a kid's it, movie, wasn't it's it? It's a kid's movie. It's it was like about a, a movie dog. about a dog. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's going to be some big blockbuster drama thing. Yeah. Like we kind so, of hope Artemis will be. Right, and it seemed to be something where Artemis Fowl definitely had a lot more traction, so pushing off Artemis Fowl for a dog movie hmm. didn't seem like a logical thing. But now that we did all this research, it seems to make a lot more sense because Artemis Fowl got moved to from an August release to a May release, and May releases happen to do a lot better than I August mean, releases. Didn't Endgame come out in May, early May? Or was it end of April? It was end of April, wasn't it? I think it was end but of April. I think April, April and May are probably pretty good months for movie releases. So right. I mean, you just look at the movies that tend to be released in those months and yeah. they tend to be pretty awesome. I mean it's I suppose during the summer a lot of people are out doing they you know, people are out doing things in the summer. They don't want to be like crammed into a cinema. Right. Um so Well I'm hopeful. I mean I'm hopeful that I don't think I've got any more notes about this kind of thing, but right. I'm hopeful that the move back is a good thing. Yeah. Mm hmm I think so. I think the delay really is the only bit of news we have now. I hope that, because of the delay, that we'll get a lot more ramp up in terms of marketing for the movie. Because it seems like all we really got was, mm -hmm. we had a day when the, the trailer and the poster were released. Right. And then we had one, what, picture reveal of, of uh, Judy Dench as Commander We had two, two picture reveals yeah, for of, Judy Dench. As Commander Root. And then it just fizzled until the yeah, delay. Yeah, then there was nothing. This, at least, we know that we have all of the books all of the books that uh, Disney is releasing about Artemis Fowl. Yeah. So they're re-releasing, I think, a new print run of the original books. Shall I get the full list? Yes. Shall I get the full list? Yes. Oh, we're going to get the full list. So we've, we've obtained okay. a full official list of all release dates. So Sorry, mm -hmm. I was off camera then. I'm, <laughs> so again, even even in my office, we're kind of struggling to get the right vibe. Oh, we're using a proper mm -hmm. camera this time as well. Yes, we are. If you um, notice, there's focus. Okay, let's try and do... <laughs> <laughs> so let me just get the full list up I'll be right back Okay. Ow. so we've got titles aligned to release with the movie so these these are books that were going to come out before the movie and have now been pushed back mm -hmm. so we've got The Artemis Fowl, Barnes & Noble exclusive gold collector's edition yeah. hardcover mm -hmm. so that'll be coming out on the 17th of March is that just the first book or is it the uh, or is it the whole series I assume it I th it says just one hardcover so I assume okay it is just a kind of a gold collector's edition. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the Artemis Fowl Barnes & Noble movie tie-in edition. So right. I assume that will have... You know, That's probably going to look like that. Yeah. That would be my It'll dog. be that, that on a copy of the book. Right. My dog is going mental downstairs. <laughs> oh, well. We'll leave, we'll leave her to bark herself to tiredness. Mm -hmm. We've then got the Artemis Fowl Walmart movie tie-in edition. Mm -hmm. It's just going to have a big Walmart logo right on the front. Yeah. And these all, and so these ones are either the seventeenth of March or the fourteenth of April. And then we've got an Artemis Fowl movie I think those time. Are, edition. That's, those are April. Yeah, March and April. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we've got how to be a LEP recon. Mm -hmm. That's a paperback coming out on the fourteenth of April. Take, do you want to take the rest of the list away? Sure. I'm just going to read off the same. The thing. same screen that I am. You know? <laughs> um. So we're going to have Artemis Fowl, The Guide to the World of Fairies, which is a hardcover book, and it's coming out on April 14th. It is? Yep. Um, that one actually sounds really exciting. I really can't wait to yeah. read that. I hope it has, like, big illustrations and, like... I hope so, and, stuff. like, concept art and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, like, the dream. Oh, and also the next one, which is The Art and Making of Artemis Fowl, 
um, which is also coming out on the 14th of April. And it's before the movie, so maybe they right. are releasing, kind of to hype the movie up, they're releasing like imagery from the set, I imagine. And right, I would assume so. I imagine I a lot of that would be concept art there too. Yeah, yeah. concept I want to see... art, sets, yeah. costumes. Um, that those are always so fun. Yeah. Um, and I hope if it's it's coming out in hardcover, so that might mean that it's like a really you get a nice, nice big like kind coffee of table size. book yeah, yeah, yeah. and like yeah. A nice big book. Yeah. <laughs> um, then there's Artemis Fowl, a Fowl Adventure, which is all the books. We think we think it says eight by eight paperback, so I right. assume it's going to be a nice little box, like a box set. Box. Um, box. All of hardcovers. Yep. Um, and then the last one is called Artemis Fowl Genius at Work, um, which is an activity book. Mm. And it's paperback. That's and that's also coming out on the 14th. We've got, what, six different things coming out? One, two, three. Yeah, six. Yeah. Four, seven. Some movie tie ins. We've got some making ofs. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple of other companion books that I, I've, I've kind of heard rumors that we will be getting kind of like a new mini story. Mmm. Take that with a pinch of salt, um, because I'm not entirely 100% sure, but I have heard rumours from a fairly reliable source. Is the reliable source Owen? No. Oh, well, how reliable can it be? A fairly reliable. Okay. I hope the whispering gets picked up by the microphone. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, now we've got a proper camera, mm -hmm. we can do all sorts of interesting things today. So we are hoping that, you know, obviously this will release over the next week or two. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, for you guys, it won't be in a week or two because you'll be watching it. But we'll do some other stuff that we can hopefully film today and mm -hmm. get out to you over the coming weeks. So. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, this we is got a, a lot of fun things in the works. We have. Sorry, this is a bit of a short one, guys, but we had to get something done. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it's been a little while. Um, but keep an eye out. We're going to film some more stuff today that we'll be releasing over time. Mm -hmm. We hope you love it. Bye. Peace out, guys.